Hello and welcome. It's the WNBA here on 2 Bay Sports. And tonight, we'll see the Dallas Kings as they go up against the New York Liberty. Along with Tim Swartz and Brian Benefitemi, I'm Blake Suniga, and we're happy to have you along for another great game. And both of these teams love to push it. Tim, what are some things that all great fast break teams have in common? Great defense. That's the first thing. You have to force turnovers. You also have to pass the ball well, get it up the court. Obviously, it doesn't hurt to have some fast players, too. And just as important is knowing when to run. You know, pushing it is great, sure. But doing it in the wrong situation can lead to turnovers. And doing it too fast can turn it over, too. Now here's Nurse. Four on the shot clock. Takes the three. Rebound Dallas. Outside Diggins Smith. Pass to Stevens. Thornton. Unable to get that one to go. Nice D from Kia Nurse. Outside Boyd. With the teardrop. It's rebounded by McGee Stafford. Outside Diggins Smith. Here's Stevens. It's good. The assist that time from Skylar Diggins Smith. Reads the defense so well. It's really what makes Diggins Smith the top notch point guard she is. Pass to Allen. to a good start as she hits her first shot attempt. Perfect screen there. Set her up with a terrific look. Yeah, but that's a bad job by the defender to not fight through that screen to contest. You want to see more effort there. You see, some players will try to overpower you at the rim, but she likes to elude you and trick you. She's got quickness and a soft touch. Zowie B shot is off. The D was ready for her that time, and they had to be. She is strong in the paint. Agunbawale, no good. Man, they've been looking at a sink offensively. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Yeah, yeah, watch right, watch right. Pass to Zawi B. Back to Boyd. Boots over Agunbawale. He can't get it to go. The wings go the other way with it. That's four misses on their first five attempts. Still trying to get into the flow offensively. Stevens with it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Watch Carter. Watch Carter. Thornton. Pass to Diggins Smith. Rebounded by Boyd. Those chances, usually they're two points for her. The D, I guess, did just enough to bother her. Azare Stevens with some nice D. Dallas in the lead. Outside of Gumbawale. Pass to McGee Stafford. Good, and the assist goes to Agumbawale. Well, using recognition and awareness, Agumba Wale is able to make the unselfish delivery. A clear look for Tina Charles. And again, it's the Liberty missing. Credit the D there. Got in her face, got her hands up, made sure she was not comfortable on the release. Yeah, stayed very tight on her. Didn't allow her the space she needed to get a good shot off. I, I just love that effort. A real defensive lapse there. Player you can leave open for a jump shot. They're lucky she didn't punish him there. Now here's Boyd. He hasn't scored yet. That I'm sure will change. Tries to snap the cold streak. Foul call that time on the way up, and that will give her two chances at the free throw line. Drafted ninth overall in the 2015 WNBA draft, Boyd went on to lead all rookies in steals per game. Take a break, take a break. Two shots. And 
the first one falls for her. goes in two from the line that time and a chance here to see the incredible Tina Charles in action former MVP uh, she won the award in 2012 without a doubt the leader of the New York Liberty now here's a Goomba Wale over nurse and it's nurse with the rebound well you have to like their work on the boards here in the first yeah, coming out of the gates with great energy. You kind of like they got shot out of a cannon. They're really setting the tone. Boom. Here's Zowie B. No scoring yet from her, but that's likely to change. Pass to Allen. Puts it up. New York, no good that time either. And with Tina Charles, she has always been great and proved her defense recently. And the defensive improvement goes hand in hand with her rebounding. Always been one of the best rebounders in the league, but now she gives you everything you want on the block. New York trailing here. Boyd with it. The shot from the low post is good. The second she got around the pick and shook her man, it was straight to the bucket for the easy deuce. Very well done. Now here's Diggin Smith. Here's Stevens. The rebound by Zowie B. That's the way you want to defend. Nice job there. Always so important to have that strong interior defense. Pass to Charles. And stolen by Thornton. Now here's a Goomba Wale. Here's McGee Stafford, defended by Nurse. Here's McGee Stafford, five on the clock. Here's Thornton. Allen with the rebound. Solid job by the defense to get in her way as she was going up to the rim. And plenty of contact on the shots, so the two free throws coming up. Dallas called for the foul. Now, about midway through the season, a couple teams are starting to slide, desperate to turn things around. Well, it's a tough season to get through physically, but also mentally. You know, the biggest test is when things go wrong. Are you going to bounce back stronger than ever? No one likes losing. These are the best athletes in the world. And when you start losing, you need to continue to work, continue to stay positive, and eventually you hope the results will come. And the Dallas Wings, a team not scared to just let it fly. They will rely a lot on the three ball, usually near the top of the league when it comes to threes attempted. the second free throw good the wings look to attack from beyond the arc as you said yeah as much as they shoot they aren't the most efficient from that range they balance it out though by getting to the free throw line as often as they can they play a little bit like the Houston Rockets in that regard back to Stevens Arjun Mawale defended by Nurse pass to Thornton shoots the three it's good. She scores. That's her first basket after missing her first two attempts. One for three. Nurse outside. Now here's Boyd. Guarded now by Agunda Wale. Boyd can't get it to go. She's missed everything this quarter. Everything. Every shot. Every shot she's taken has been a miss. I mean, it's just been hard to watch. Way to work the ball in close to the hoop. Outside. Pass to Allen. Now here's Charles. Oh, hammer! Wow! She'll go to the line. That one on a Wale. 
But when you have her on your team, you feed her in the post. Charles is too much to handle. Some players rise to high expectations, and Tina Charles is certainly one of them. After being selected first overall in 2010, Charles was the rookie of the year with Connecticut. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. And remember, that rookie season for Charles was historic. One of the best postseasons ever. How about this number, Blake? Charles set the record for rebounds in a season during that rookie year, making a statement. She'll be a force in the WNBA for years to come. Both shots good from the strike. The top pick in the 2010 draft, Tina Charles made an immediate impact winning Rookie of the Year, averaging a double-double with the Sun. Now here's Jefferson. Wyatt so far offensively searching for first points of the game. Pass to Gray. Clock at six. Jefferson outside. Here's McGee Stafford. Amanda Zowie B with the defensive effort. Inside, Charles. The lead pass was put in just the right spot to produce the layup. When it comes to scoring in the paint, Tina Charles is as good as anyone in the history of this league. Has every post move in the book. Now here's Gray. Teardrop shot, and it's good on the land. It, you know, it, it's all about the release when you shoot the floater. Fast as I we be. Hartley. She sinks the 11 footer. Now Jefferson. Thornton outside. Harrison. Gray with it. She's picked up by Charles. Gray, that's good. How about Gray rising up when challenged by defenders? And that's the mentality coaches love to see. Now here's Hartley. Free throw line jumper. Rebound Dallas. Gray. Stolen by Hartley. Pass to Durr. Hey, look over here. Back to Hartley. Outside Charles. Just four to shoot. To the wing, right side. Hartley's shot is off. Dallas leading. Thornton outside. On the wing, Alicia Gray. Thornton outside. Back to Gray. Fires from deep. A rebound by Zowie B. And they could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Yeah, too many empty possessions. I mean, it's simple. They need points. Thornton outside. Gray outside. Pass to Jefferson. And there's the whistle. That goes on Harrison. That is her first foul of the game. The wings making a switch here. Here is Hartley. Now right. She's covered by Jefferson. Outside Durr. With some arc. And she sinks the layup. 
backed by a, a wide-ranging offensive skill set, Zuri can really mix up defenders. Now here's Jefferson. Looking for her first basket still in this one. To the middle. Pass to Gray. Second shot opportunity. The rebound by Zawi D. And already a very lopsided edge on the boards for them. Yeah, they're plus five in rebounds. That did not take long. Chalk up two right there. With a smooth touch around the rim, I usually don't expect Gray to miss shots inside. Now here's Gray, guarded by Durr. Gray with it. Six to shoot, and there's the foul. It'll go on Bria Hartley. That's her first foul. Shot clock at five. Here's Gray. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Uses quickness to elude defenders. Gray is hard to keep up with. And so the first quarter in the book. Wings out in front, up by five. And back with the start of the second quarter in just a moment. Just getting set to begin. And looking at what we've seen from the wings, what do you guys think? Really hard work being put in from the glass uh, by them from the get-go. Yeah, everyone's done a great job boxing out for them here, and it's showing up on the stat sheet. Now here's Durr. Hartley outside. Out of bounds, Out of bounds, it'll go to the wings. And Skylar Diggins-Smith, uh, such a huge part of this team. She's a fantastic playmaker who goes right at the defense, and I like to call her the catalyst for her team. Now here's Gray. A rebound by Gray. Pass to Durr. Launches it. Offensive rebound. Basket good. She's got a great read of where that miss was going, and that enabled her to be the first player to it and get the putback. Here's Jefferson. Here's Gray. Amanda Zowie B with the defensive effort. With Diggins Smith, she is just relentless when on the floor. The way she can push the tempo can shape this team's offense, create so many good looks for herself and others. Also, quite simply, one of the most entertaining players to watch in the league. Now here's Jefferson. Pass to Hill. Shot clock at six. Jacks up a three. The wings with another miss. New York trailing here. Now Hartley, right outside. Zowie B. And unable there to get the go-ahead bucket. Now here's Gray. He's guarded by Hartley. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. What a year 2017 was for Alicia Gray. First, she wins a national title. 
South Carolina in the city of Dallas. And then just a couple weeks later, Gray was drafted fourth overall by Dallas. What a smooth transition into the pro game. It was really amazing. I mean, Gray had no issues adjusting. Winning 2017 Rookie of the Year with the Wings, a pure scorer capable of huge nights. And so she hits both. Fourth pick in the 2017 WNBA Draft, Gray went on to win Rookie of the Year on this. Is how we be. Nurse. Now is how we be. It's Kia Nurse on the wing. Here's Hartley. And there's the Short shot clock violation. violation. Couldn't get it off in time. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in this second quarter. Pass to Ogumbawale. High arcing shot. And it's blocked by Rebecca Allen. Back to Diggin Smith. Shoots over Hartley. And another miss by Dallas. Now here's Gray. He's guarded by Stevens. And here is Gray. Six on the shot clock. Hits the jump hook. Another bucket in the paint. That's just something they have not been able to stop today. And if they want to win this game, they got to figure out how to stop it. You know, Brian, I think it's time to switch things up on D. What they've got going on right now is not getting it done. Here's Harrison. That one is off, and it's the Liberty taking it the other way. Hartley outside. And almost four minutes gone in the second quarter of play. It's Kia Nurse on the wing. From the arc, right between the eyes. A very nice rhythm to her shot. Nurse is not someone you want to, to start hitting threes. It can come in bunches when she gets going. Dallas trailing here. Diggin Smith with it. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Ardoon Bawale. And stolen by Bria Hartley. Oh, and the fast break for the Liberty. The rebound by the Wings. And the foul on Sawi B. That'll be her second foul of the game. That's foul number two on her. It might not warrant to sitting her just yet, but another one before halftime, it definitely would warrant that. Here's Hill. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. I admire how Stevens relentlessly crashes the boards. It's, it's pretty special for a young player. Now here's Boyd. Down low. Nurse outside. Six to shoot. From about 16. Kept alive. And it's Gray missing. Nice work there to contest the finish inside. Yeah, they got the shot they wanted, but her defense laid waste to those. And already that's her third foul. It's got to be time to get her out of there, probably until the third quarter. <laughs> Dallas with the ball. Right side, Diggin Smith. Pass to Harrison. 
Five to shoot. Arjun Bawale. Outside, Diggin Smith. And here is Stevens. Shoots over Boyd. Stevens, that's good. She's been one of their more reliable options today, and it's her shooting that has given them this lead. Pass to Nurse. Now here's Diggin Smith. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for her. Pass to Harrison. Here's Thornton. Right wing. Four on the clock. Nice move. And the shot clock expires. Great D to stop him cold. Here's Boyd, pass to Allen. Gray with it, Thornton picks her up. Charles with it. Over Stevens, and it's New York with another. Running effective pick and rolls is only a small part of what makes Boyd a premier point guard in this league. Now here's Diggin Smith. To the paint. Goes to the reverse layup and drops it in. Yeah, good job working it down low and getting the high percentage look. Pass to Allen. Gray. Now Charles. Fader on the way. And good that time. Just an old school to her game. Charles not afraid of scoring in the in-between area of the court. Now here's a Goomba Wale. Defended by Nurse. Harrison. She hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Well, if this ball game comes down to the rebounding battle, they'll be the ones coming out on top. They've had a strong game on that front without question. Here's Allen. Pass to Gray. Nurse. The putback. It's good on the putback. Well, to me, it's clear that the difference in this quarter has been their dominance on the offensive boards. Plenty of second-chance points uh, not resting on their lead. They're staying active. Now here's Agumba Wale. Hey, yo, right here. Clock at six. Pass to Stevens. Another shot. And a foul called on the shot. Got her on the way up that time. Yeah, I love seeing bigs like Stevens that shoot well from the free throw line. And to me, it's really just a testament to their quest for perfection. They want to have all parts of their game be efficient. That free throw, no good. Well, the New York Liberty, a marquee franchise in the WNBA. One of the chartered teams in the league, but unfortunately, they're still looking for their first title. And she sinks the second. And with the Liberty, as you said, that first championship, something they are searching for. New York has come close several times. They've played in four WNBA finals, and this team is desperate for a banner, but it just hasn't been in the cards for them. Agunbawale with it. Now Boyd defending. Jefferson outside. Back to Agunbawale. Harrison. Now Thornton. They get it back. That's an excellent box out. Keeping herself between the opposing players. 
in the basket. Here's Gray. Oh. And so she draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. It's going to go on Kayla Thornton. And look at the mobility from Gray. Able to take it right to the teeth of the defense. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw, no good. When I think of players who have really improved as rebounders, I immediately think of Rashonda Gray. Early in her WNBA career, she wasn't putting up the biggest numbers, but with more minutes nowadays, she's been putting in work. She hits the second from the line. Yeah, and Gray has certainly become more developed in the rebounding department. Now, Tim, what do you attribute that to? Well, it's the toughness Gray brings, really, in every facet of her game, including crashing the glass. Rebounding isn't something you just kind of do. You have to be committed, and Gray is. Now here's Gray. Eight points for her. And foul called as she misses. Working themselves the line here in the second, a nice way to get their offense going. And maybe cause some foul trouble along the way. That can pay off as well. The first one falls. And this Dallas Wings franchise, several championships under their belt, one in 2003, 2006, and 2008. Dominant decade for the team. So she gets them both. And the titles you mentioned, those all coming when the team was located in Detroit. Yeah, the latest version of the franchise is still looking for their first title, but Dallas has shown they're committed to getting this team back to competing for rings. Now, it won't be easy, but they're starting to build something special here in Dallas. And she was fouled on the way up. Two free throws for her. And it's on Mariah Jefferson. Well, free throws are definitely not a weakness in Durr's game. Durr is just a player that doesn't want any holes in her game. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And she makes the first. One of the more unselfish young players in the league, Asia Dirt. Her college coach once said that she would come out of halftime and sometimes ask, did I shoot too much? She just wants to be a great teammate, and I admire that. He makes one of two that time. Well, Durr is certainly a player that always puts the team's success over her individual success. How important is that for team chemistry? Oh, Blake, I got to say it's huge because it helps your teammates play looser and more free because they know what they can expect from you. And that mindset is contagious. So when everyone else catches on, big things can happen. Now here's Gray. Seven points in the game. Charles, score the basket, her fourth, and she's only missed one of her five shots tonight. Now here's Jefferson. She's tightly guarded. Gray outside. Jefferson, Boyd covering. Pass to McGee Stafford. Gray outside. The wings with another miss. She is going to buy herself a ticket to the bench if she keeps shooting like she has this quarter so far. Garnering so much attention from the defense herself. So Durr plays with her head up and finds open teammates. Now here's Jefferson. 
the inside. Here's McGee Stafford. To the middle. Stevens. And another shot. And the layup is up and in. You know, she's having a nice quarter. Scoring with confidence. Here is Boyd. Five points in the game. Stevens grabs the board. He's been ice cold, unable to contribute offensively. And it's Kayla Thornton off the drive. Stevens score the bucket. She is seven for 11 and continues to look good. She's taken a solid opening quarter and built on it here in the second. Boyd with it. Inside, here's Charles. Yes, and it's Brittany Boyd picking up the assist. Adept at getting to the rim. A little screen will never hurt Charles, too. She just loves to finish. Now here's Gray. From deep three-point range. Got it off in time, but it's no good. And the first half comes to a conclusion in a game that has been very close so far. Liberty out in front, up three. Stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter going. looking to pull away in the last half of the game. One of the stories here is definitely Stevens being able to get it done. She's been a revelation tonight, scoring almost at will in the first half. Hard to imagine she'll be able to keep it up for the next two quarters, but you never know. It could be a special night for her. Welcome back. The second half about to get underway, and it's been a close one so far. Outside Boyd, pass to Allen, Zowie B, here's Nurse, it's rebounded by McGee Stafford. That's too good a look to pass up there, despite the result. And the foul on Zowie B. That will get her fourth foul of the game. That foul gives her four on the day, so she only has two to spare the rest of the way. That's not ideal. Right side, Diggin Smith. Pass to Ogumbawale. Just five to shoot. Stevens. So she gets the whistle. Contact on the way up. Two shots. Nick. Well, we've entered a time in basketball when everyone wants three-point shooters who can also defend. Azure Stevens really fits that mold. You know, at 6'6", she's got tremendous length, and she's able to just disrupt the opponent uh, when they're taking shots. Shooting two. Stephen 
Williams on the offensive end, she's very effective at stretching the court. It is incredible that 6'6 players like Stevens already have a three-point shot when they enter the league these days. You just have to love the direction the WNBA is going. Bigs like Stevens with tremendous skill. And that's good as she hits both shots. After a quality rookie year, it's really no surprise that Stevens was drafted sixth overall in the WNBA draft. Now here's Charles. The putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. That's a terrific job staying with it. Way to go. The wings trail. Outside, Diggin Smith. Pass to Gumbawale. Here's McGee Stafford. Gray defending. McGee Stafford can't get it to go. Well, you love the tough D, especially inside. And that's exactly what she gives you, Tim. Constantly making her presence felt around the rim. Now here's Diggin Smith. Stevens with it. Defended by Nurse. Pass to McGee Stafford. Now here's Diggin Smith. Outside, Stevens. That doesn't go on the chance to tie. Two minutes gone in this third quarter now. Here's Allen. Guarded now by Agumba Wale. Here's Nurse. Offline with the three. She has not been able to get into that groove yet, guys. But as a whole, it really hasn't affected the team that much. Here's McGee Stafford. Pass to Stevens. Great pass to set up the land. With the fundamentally sound skill set, Stevens is able to create offensively. Here's Allen, guarded by Diggins Smith. Here's Allen. Nurse outside. From downtown, good on the three-point shot. Up to the defense, they gotta talk to each other. Clearly in air, not getting out there on a three-point attempt. Pass to Stevens. And here's Thornton, guarded by Charles. Back to Stevens. Argun Bawale. Down low. And so she earns a trip to the line. Official saw the contact, and then she'll shoot two. That one on Charles. You don't want to get in the habit of letting the offense get right to the rim. And that's the message they were sending with that foul, saying nothing easy inside with that Take one. Take a break. Yeah, but Take they got to play a little bit better two defense shots. before they get inside. making a switch here. And so she makes both from the line. New York leading. Hartley outside. Pass to Nurse. Charles with it. Shot clock at six. Here's Nurse. Kia Nurse with another miss. Well, offensively speaking, it has been a tough, tough quarter for her. Here's Hill. Good, and the assist goes to Agumba Wale. And that ties it up. Great communication between teammates there. Now Hartley. Pass to Allen. Now Nurse. Here's the teardrop. Stevens grabs the board. Outside of Gumbawale. 
Here's McGee Stafford. Outside of Gugawale. Back to Diggins Smith. Tipped away. Gugawale for the lead. Her rebound by Hartley. So the whistle blows on the shot. Two free throws for the contact there. She's getting her first free throw attempts of the night. At the line for your New York Liberty, Bria Hartley. Two shots. Good on the second, so she makes both. And here is Diggins Smith. Arike Agumbawale on the wing. Harrison in the post, working on Charles. Pass to Hill. For the lead. The shot that time, not on target to the paint. Here's Allen. And there it is. That's the area they want to work the ball into, and it takes passing like that to do it. Here's Dallas now. Outside of Gumbawale. A beautiful reverse layup. Well, the best scorers oftentimes have an inside and outside game, and Gumbawale flashes signs of both. Now here's Hartley, pass to Nurse. Good on the shot. Good quickness, but great length can help Nurse on drives. Allows her to get shots in areas that can't be swatted. And they're looking for some kind of spark here. Yeah, cold stretch offensively. They need a bucket. Harrison with the ball. Here's Agumawale. And it's off from three-point range. Hartley with it. Pass to Charles. Nurse outside. Here's Allen. Guarded now by Agumbawale. Inside. Now Nurse. Boots over Agumbawale. The shot by Nurse, no good. That's one she knows she should have drained. Outside, Diggins Smith. Hey, call it out. Here's the floater. Rebound, New York. Now here's Nurse. He's got 12. Here's Sue. Pass to Charles. Can't hit from in close. Well, good defense in the paint. Worth its weight in gold. It absolutely is, and we just saw it right there, didn't we? Without her presence, that's an easy two time out, points. Timeout, timeout. New York calls timeout. And one of the smarter players in the league, Dickens Smith, really knows what she's doing out there. Skyler's understanding of the game comes from her power of case
making some changes here. Here's right. She's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Pass to Durr. Six on the shot clock. Hey, 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 look at the clock. Now here's Hartley. She's covered by Jefferson. Now that's how you win a rebound battle. Get good position and then use your strength to keep it. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Asia Durr. That is her first foul of the game. outside Jefferson outside for the tie the shot misses Amanda Zawibi with the defensive effort here's Hartley and it's blocked by Imani McGee Stafford Jefferson outside right with the steal and even three on three break Durr. Alicia Gray with a defensive effort. The wings trail. Here's Hill. Out to the wing. Now Jefferson. Just five on the clock. For the lead. Excellent D there from Asia Durr. She has slipped into a real funk here. Definitely. The basket is not looking very big to her at this point. Now here's Hartley. And they're going to count the bucket and send her to the line. It could be a three-point play. On the night, she's two for two at the stripe. The wings making a switch here. Jefferson. Pass to Thornton. Now here's Harrison. She's guarded by Wright. Gray outside. Down to five on the shot clock. Knocked away. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Liberty. New York in the lead. Outside Charles. Right, covered by Thornton. Pass to Hartley. Charles, and that one drops for her. More points for Charles. Watch out when she gets going. She won the 2016 scoring title, scoring over 21 per game for the Liberty. Now here's Jefferson. outside. Thornton outside. Amanda Zawidi with the block. Durr. Floats one up. And she takes it up and lays it in. And their lead continues to grow. This is good, sound basketball. Absolutely. Whatever they discussed during the break has worked. They've really been executing well since halftime. You gotta tip your hat to this coaching staff. Here's McGee Stafford. Jefferson outside. The floater. Doesn't go that time. So New York will take it the other way. Right outside. Pass to Durr. Charles with it. From past the arc. Missed 
number four for her from the floor. Seven for 11 field goal attempts. To the middle, Thornton, and she comes up with the deuce. She might be undersized as 6-1 forward, but Thornton makes up for it with touch. Finds ways to score down low. Pass to Durr. Charles, defended by Harrison. Now here's Charles. He's guarded closely. Releases from 15. Zowie B shot is off. Shot and game clock separated by five. And they've been struggling here offensively. Bit of a dry spell for sure. Now Harrison. She's guarded by Hartley. And here is Thornton. Pass to Gray. Here's McGee Stafford. Tries again. So she gets the whistle. Contact on the way up. Two shots next. That one on Charles. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw missing. Second free throw. And that's going to do it for the third quarter. It's the Liberty. They're up by six. And we're just moments away from the start of quarter number four. Stay with us. And let's take this opportunity to show you our State Farm assist of the game. She showed us she's got a little point guard in her with this tremendous setup. That was a terrific pass no matter what position it came from, but it does make it stand out a little more when it's made by her. Welcome back as we get rolling once more. Fourth quarter right ahead and what'll be a very well contested game. Hey, up, Don't give her space. Thornton outside. Huh. Pulls up on the wing. McGee Stafford. She hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Big time put back. What a great motor she has. There is no one who goes after those rebounds harder than her. And night in and night out, this is the kind of effort level she gives you. Now here's Charles. Count that bucket. Got a little fancy with the fadeaway on that one, guys. Dallas trailing here. Jefferson with it. Ray up top. She's guarded by Hartley. Good. With the wide array of offensive moves, Gray will pretty much make you pick your poison when you're guarding her. Pass to Zawi B. Now here's Durr. Yo, look out. The rebound by Thornton. Get outside, get outside. To the inside. Yes, it's good. That bucket takes her to 9 for 14. And that's what they're hanging their hat on today, fellas. Hard-nosed play on the low block. I love that. Me too. It's old-fashioned. Reminds me of when we played. I mean, old-fashioned, pound-the-rock basketball, and it's working well. Now here's Charles. Azare Stevens with some nice D. And they have certainly been looking locked in offensively. They sure have, staying aggressive and playing in control. 
Pass to Gray. Just five to shoot. And it's going to be two free throws through contact on the shot. And so she's picked up her final foul, and she will sit the rest of this one out. We had a comfy seat. That's it. Shooting two. Makes it, and the next one could tie it up. The wings making a switch here. Charles over Stevens they grab their own miss I wonder what the score of this game would be if they weren't pulling down all these rebounds that's a good question it's been their edge no doubt and in a close game like this you just look for every edge you can find now here is Thornton Enrique Agumboale on the wing to take the lead drills it from outside Check out the handles on Agumba Wale in the pick and roll. She moves so fluidly on the hardwood. Some tough offensive sets, and they really want to turn it around. They got to lock in and need a basket just to regain some momentum. Boyd. And the official signal the backcourt violation. Not being careful there. Those, uh, those types of mistakes are magnified when it's a tight game like this. And the wings making a change here. Dallas in the lead. And there's the foul. It's on Nurse. That is her first foul of the game. Here's Diggins Smith. Outside of Wale. Six to shoot. Pass to Thornton. Shot on the wing. She's had an off game, but her team has been able to pick up the slack and get it done here today. Can they get it? Dallas with the rebound. Yeah, and ever since that time, she's been ice and cold. Very little going her way out there. Megan Smith, shot is off. And these guys have had some good motion on offense. Nice assists. When everybody's involved offensively, it's in a way helping you defensively, too. With a good motor and high level of activity, Stevens has become a force on defense. Down low. Yes, and it's Skyler Diggins Smith with the assist that time. It's hard to count how many of their possessions have ended just like that, with one of her shots going down. Well, that's the reason this game is coming down to the wire in the first place. Her touch from the field has been fantastic. New York calls timeout. Yeah, coaches, they saw their team giving up a lot of points and wanted uh, to get a break before it got out of hand. And that's a big part of a coach's job, making sure you keep your players in the best position possible at all times. That's a great timeout.
to Boyd. Back door, back door. Now here's Nurse, guarded by Diggins Smith. Left side, Charles. And the layup's good off the glass. One of the advantages for Nurse, she's six feet, so tall for a point, allows her to get a clear view of the whole court. Now here's a Goomba Wale. To the inside. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Yes. He's starting to turn it on now after a slow start. New York trailing here. Pass to Boyd. Charles. Go, go, go. Nurse outside. That's her first foul. First, first foul. Dallas with the ball. Here in the fourth, they've only allowed just four points. Outside, Diggin Smith. Pass to McGee Stafford. Clock at six. Over Boyd, and there are the wings with another bucket. Every time they get scored on during this run, it seems like it's come from inside the paint. Buckle up on defense. Yeah, it's time to collapse down and make them shoot jumpers. Now here's Boyd. Nurse outside. Offensive rebound. And two shots coming up at the line as she gets fouled on the shot. Dallas called for the foul. One of the best at getting freebies, Tina Charles, normally in the top 10 in free throw attempts in this league. Well, Tina Charles has had lots of great years in the league. But 2012 was arguably her final. Charles averaged a double-double, garnering MVP honors for Connecticut. The first one falls. Yeah, for Charles in 2012, winning MVP in just her third year in the league. And guys, she carried Connecticut, leading the team in points, rebounds, and blocks. And she helped the Sun finish 25-9, and owning the best record in the East. And that one falls, so she hits both of them. Everyone on their team is locked in from the charity stripe this half. Not one miss. And trying to cut into this lead, they need every edge they can get. Now here is Thornton. Pass to Stevens. Knocked away. And the ball out of play. The Wings will have it. Dallas with the ball. Now Diggins Smith. Pass to McGee Stafford. Back to Goomba Wale. Knocked loose. Nurse outside. Banked in off the glass. She's so good at recognizing where the openings are and getting that ball to the rim. Dallas leading. Now Stevens. Thornton. Back to Stevens. And good. Coming up the assist by Kayla Thornton. They're passing the ball very crisply right now. Their last three buckets have come by way of an assist. Outside Charles. Pass to Nurse. Boyd with it. Guarded now by Aguda Wale. Boyd can't get it to go. Here's the wings with the ball. Leading by five. Looking to get it going. And she lays it up and in. If 
impressive mobility from Boyd. She can be shifty when driving to the basket. And the wings call time here. You know, I've always enjoyed the intensity Diggin Smith plays with. To say Skyler is competitive is a massive understatement. Get on your feet and make some noise for T-shirt time! Ray Stevens. I just love her passion and her fire. Total dominance in this one. No one on the floor can match her intensity. Arike Agumawale on the wing. Defended by Nurse. Agumawale no good. Side Boyd. They get it back. Good D by Arike Agumbo Wale. She's killing them with her poor shooting. To the wing on the left. Megan Smith with it. Gray picks her up. Oh, and the fast break for the Liberty. And that comes off the assist by Diana. You just knew she was going to win that race. Boy, gotta love that early offense. Super job on the break. Pass to Kukawale. And there's the foul. It'll be on Kia Nurse. That'll be her second foul of the game. Right side, Diggin Smith. You've got to admire the effort level from Boyd there on the defensive end. She did not want the opposition to get a good look. Charles, she's guarded by Stevens. Pass to Nurse. And here's Boyd. He's guarded by Stevens. Wow, hey, this quarter has been ugly for her. And it's not showing signs of turning around anytime soon. Her touch is all but gone. Now here is Thornton. And here is Diggin Smith. Over Gray. Up again. Great positioning on the putback. Second chance points can just be so deflating for the defensive team. Pass to Charles. Shoots from the right block. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Big time from Charles. Remember, she's a national champ, gold medalist. She loves these moments. She's been in these moments. Now here's Diggin Smith. Horton outside. Here's Stevens. Arike Agumboale on the wing. Defended by Nurse. And so she draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. That one on Charles. At the line of the Wings, Azurae Stevens, taking two shots. Shooting two.
and good on both. Here's Boyd. Here's outside. Tries from 10. The shot's good. Huge bucket from Nurse. He's played in a ton of big games, national titles, international competitions. So you know he and Nurse has experienced all the big moments at such a young age. Now here's Higgins Smith. Pass to McGee Stafford. Higgins Smith. Shot clock at six. A rebound by Charles. The Liberty Trail. And here's Boyd. To the paint. Charles, that's good. That's why you look for Charles. He's played in so many big games. The big moment, it does not affect her at all. Megan Smith with it. Pass to McGee Stafford. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. And it's Brittany Boyd off the drive. Wow. I mean, talk about staying focused and concentrated in the big moment. You don't normally see that from younger players like Boyd. Time called here. The Wings decide to talk it over. Here's Diggin Smith. Stafford. Yes! And that shot brings them within just one. A master in the pick and roll. Diggin Smith knows where her teammates are and will be. Charles. It's good! I that take it looks like a charm. Nice job taking it right to the tip of the lane. Time called here. The wings decide to talk about it. Diggin Smith. Inside. Stevens. Buries it. A 6-6 forward with just straight up versatility. Stevens has been a noteworthy WNBA prospect for a while. And they foul intentionally, and they're gonna have to do it again. They're not in the penalty yet. And now we've got the intentional foul. Yeah, you can't let him hold the ball and just milk those seconds away. You know, man, you've got to foul. It's going to come down to free throws. That's your situation. And she misses the first one. Boy, she really wanted that one to fall. Second one. And that will put them up two. Outside, Diggins Smith. From eight. No good. Well, got it in close, but critical tight defense for forcing the miss. Defense like that ups the degree of difficulty on that shot by about what? Uh, I'd say 300%? 308% maybe. Okay, I like that. At the one for two. He hits the first one, and that makes it a three-point lead. So she goes two for two at the line, and it's a four-point ball game. Now that's how you close a game out. Those free throws will bury them for sure. And so the big win by New York in a really tight game.
And they didn't make it easy on themselves for their fans, but in the end, everyone's satisfied. Yeah, you know, there were some times that momentum shifted either way, especially early on. But give the team credit for sticking right with the game plan and finishing the job. So that's going to do it for this one, folks.